we covered very clearly we discussed we discussed very clearly how to work with the csv files how to work with the csv files csv files and the, and the, uh, sir, how to perform zip operation zip zip operation and unzip operations zip operations and zip operations next uh, how to handle binary data how to handle binary data sir these are things we discussed already binary data this part we discussed right sir now the next one okay sir python file io concept python file io concept file file io concept io concept sir can work with the directories also remember this one sir can work with the directories also also right so how to work with the directories working with the working with the directories observe that working with the directories directories so this part we have to discuss right so there are several important conclusions are there just to take a bit a bit very very special care about these things right so now it is a very common requirement to perform operations sir uh, with the with the directories right like uh, do you know to know current working directory to know current working current working directory to know current working directory next to create uh, a new directory to create a new directory directory i want to create a new new directory to remove an existing directory to remove an existing an existing directory to remove an existing directory next uh, to rename a directory to rename a directory a directory next uh, to list the uh, contents of the directory to list uh, to list uh, contents contents of the directory like uh, you know these are various various uh, important uh, various important things uh, you people should aware sir so what is the current working directory next to create a new directory to remove an existing directory rename a directory to list contents of the directory for all these operation yes file io is the solution for this right okay so to perform these operations with the respect to two directories we have to use one special module because that module contain the required that module contain module oh yes a module can you please spell out sir what is the module name please confirm what is the module name oh yes sir. oh yes a module somewhere we use sir even in the last classes also this module anyone anyone remember somewhere we use this module sir in the last last session where where we use this one can you please remind Yes, friends. Somewhere we use uh, this OS module. Ah, uh, where in the exception handling correct? Excellent. In the exception handling, I use the uh, OS dot underscore exit of zero. Whenever we are using this one, then automatically finally block is not going to be executed. Okay, one one case. Next, uh, one more area I use sir. Uh, have you remembered right? OS dot path da is file is file of abc dot txt are you getting abc dot txt even in the file i will only we discuss already right have you remembered right have you remembered right to check whether the specified file is available or not to uh serve user this module okay anyway if you want to work with the directories then which module we require to use Oh yes, oh yes, module we require to use right. There. Remember that, okay? Sir, so now because this module contain required functions uh, to perform operations on directories, okay? Like, uh, sir, so now multiple cases I want to discuss. Take very special care about this one, sir. Sir, case one, case one, sir. To know current working directory, are you getting to know current current uh, working directory? To know current working directory, sir. Sir, I want to know current working directory. What is the way? What is the what is the way, sir? To know current working directory, what is the way? Very very simple. Observe the code, sir. Okay. First line. Which module we require to import? Which module? Ah, uh, which module we require to we require to go for first? Which module? OS module. I forgot the name, sir. Import OS. Now, very very simple, sir. What is current working directory? OS dot get the CWT. 
ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಓ ಎಸ್ ಅಂತ ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ಸಿ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಡಿ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಓ ಎಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರಿ ಓಕೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಸರ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರಿ ಸರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ are you getting so if you want to know what is my current working directory then automatically we require to use get a cwd get a cwd right okay sir now have a look once sir are you getting here just a py test.py are you getting py test.py sir what is my current working directory d colon durga classes d colon durga classes programmatically am i able to access this location or not yes current working directory itself is nothing but d colon durga class yes perfect sir it's going to work any doubt can you please confirm okay clear so this is the first case which method which function we required to use right get the cwd cwd means current working directory observe that carefully sir current working directory okay that's all uh, yeah most of the people you should be aware these methods these function names are going to reflect unix commands only that's why the people who are having uh, uh, i mean hands on related to unix commands okay you can able to understand very easily even windows commands also will be reflected that's why these words you never going to feel that something like uh, something like a new terminology okay it's a very easy sir sir first one is a very clear for you can i go to the second one okay now my requirement is are can you please create a directory can you please create a directory in the current working directory okay so to create to create a sub directory to create a sub directory in in current of working directory i want to create a sub directory in current working directory sir what is the way os dot mkdir are you getting os dot mkdir what is the what is the method you require what is the what is the name of the directory you require right okay sir something like uh, sir just uh, just i'm taking data data science data science dir data science data science dir like this at ipsa okay assume that os dot make dir of data science data science dir like this at ipsa make directory now in the current working directory current working directory yes sir, this one this one will be will be created sir remember this one data science dir what is the way what is the way sir very simple can you please spell out what is the way sir o s dot i forgot what is the what is the function name what is the function name i forgot sir what is the function name m k d i r r okay here data science data science d i r like this right okay print r print r a uh, task completed something like this i am taking sir task completed completed like like i am taking okay well so this is what you people what you people should should be aware clearly right sir now here let me cross check let me cross check there is no such type of directory already in my system because i never handled data science sir, but will be there maybe in the next month okay now observe that that a directory i want to create sir task completed let me cross check let me cross check in the colon durga classes yes can you please cross check is that a directory got created or not okay here just uh, these are the files uh, next uh, directory yes friends can you please cross check what is the name data science dir okay at what date it got created sir just now it is got created just now it got created right okay well that's all this is about this is about okay like this right any doubt any doubt about this one yes most of the times we know file names directory names should contain lower case letters kumar most of the times sir it contain only lower case lower case letters right clear right okay that's all so this is how to get current working directory sir os dot get the cwd os dot 
get a CWD. Okay, like this we are taking. So next, uh, how to create a directory, sir? Data science, data science. So something like we are, we are going to take, sir. So now, now, what is the next thing? Next thing we have to, we have to discuss, sir. Okay, here just observe that. Just observe, observe that, sir. If this directory already available, then what will happen? If a directory already available, already oh, sorry, get get current work in directory. Okay, sir. So next, already if this directory already available, what will happen, sir? Sir, so now in my system, data science DIR is it already available or not? Can you please confirm, friends? Data science DIR is already available or not? Available because just now I created. If I'm trying to run again, again, what will happen, sir? Observe this point very carefully. What will happen? Just uh, let me execute this code, sir. If I'm trying to execute this one, no, 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 not overloading and so on. Observe carefully, sir. If I'm trying to execute, what will happen is, sir, observe that file exists here. Cannot create a file. That file already exists. Sir. That file already exists. Sir. Something like it's going to tell me. Sir, this directory already exists. Sir. File exists here. You people should aware. Any doubt? Okay, it's an exception. It's an exception. Okay, like. Okay, well, sir. Now, now the next scenario, sir. Now the next next scenario. This is the second scenario. Sir, this directory should not be already available. If if it is already available, then it's going to raise file exists here. That's why before creating the directory, is it already available or not? You have to cross check. If it is not available, then only use the command mkdir. Okay, like now third one, sir. Third one to create a subdirectory in in my to create to create a subdirectory to create a subdirectory in 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 my created data science dir. Okay, already I created data science dir, sir. In data science dir. I want to create a subdirectory. I want I want to create a subdirectory. What is the possibility? Very, very simple. Don't worry, sir. Same command only. You require to use same command only. We require to, we require to use sir, next level path also. What it means is, sir, inside data science DIR, I want to take deep learning. Are you getting that right? inside data science DIR? I want to take a deep learning. Now, inside the data science DIR, okay, R, yes, this deep learning will be created. So, same command only, same command only, no difference at all. Now, have you looked once? Can you please cross check? Yes, friends, OS.MKAR, data science DIR, in the deep learning, like this, I'm taking, sir. If I can take like this, task completed, wow. <laughs> good, task completed, just like a robo instruction, task completed, now let me cross check, sir, let me cross check, inside the Durga classes, sir, data science DIR is already there, okay, inside uh, data science DIR, okay, data science DIR, okay, deep learning, is it got created or not, friends, is it got created or not, okay, now here also, there is one small problem is there if if this one is not available if data science is not already available what will happen sir sir i want to create inside data science dir1 can you please create deep learning but the problem here is this sub this directory is not already there if this one is not already there how you can create first you have to think about this one that's why what will happen what will happen here is Observe carefully, sir. What will happen immediately? File not found error. Assume compulsory, compulsory. This one should be already there. Then only you have to think about this one, sir. Any doubt? Friends, everyone in the position to understand, right? Okay, like this is the this is the next level. Make sure, sir, this data science DIR is already available. Sir, if it is not already available, assume, assume the data science DIR is already available. Already available. 
if for data sense the ir is not already available then we are going to get a error what, what is that error sir file not found error like this we are going to get any doubt up to this is the clear okay now my requirement is sir observe that now my requirement is next example is the most uh, sir to create multiple subdirectories to create multiple directories sir. to create multiple multiple directories directories like like sir here something like sir in in dir uh, like like so in the current working directory current working directory create a dir1 okay in that in the dir2 in the in the dir3 are you getting right so something like uh, nesting nesting sir first dir1 dir1 in that dir2 in that dir3 so earlier there is no if this one is not there the problem you are going to get but uh, sir this one is not there can you please create can you please create this is about my job sir can you please create how you can specify that how you can specify that is very very simple earlier which method we use can you please confirm sir earlier which method we use which function we use mkdir now we have to change a function name okay what that is os dot make dir yes os dot make dir yes okay sir can you please create python directory in the in the okay adb python directory adb python directory in that adb python directory can you please create file io directory have you observed right now is it a more meaningful sir first i have to create in my current working directory python in that python can you please create adv advanced python advanced python in the can you please create file io like this this is what what i have to take now observe a bit very carefully about this terminology right sir what is the function name we use have you observed os dot make dir yes sir this is what we use it, sir now now have a look once sir observe that task completed <laughs> task completed now in the current working directory sir python got created in the python adv python got created in the adv python file io got created wow. wonderful sir everyone in the position to understand right friends any doubt about this terminology what is the function we require to use right make dirs sir here these parent directories need not be available already remember that need not be available already so can you please create complete list can you please create complete list like sir now i have one small doubt if i execute again again what will happen because these directories are already available right if i execute again what will happen have you observed right file exists error because you are asking why oh, can you please create that 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 but already the required things are already available that's why immediately you are going to get yes sir this is that this is the problem file exists error remember that clear right okay now i have one small doubt sir yes so now now i have i have one small doubt doubt right so if the python uh, uh lingam if the python directory is not there then automatically remaining sub directories also won't be there right because advanced python and then file io these things are part of python getting yeah now okay sir what is the next next terminology okay here what is the what is the fifth one sir observe to remove a directory this is about my requirement right to remove a directory how you can remove to remove a directory sir to create a directory what is the command i use it can you please tell m k d i r are you getting what the command i use it sir mkdir this is the command right now to remove a directory 
to remove your directory assume assume that assume that if i if i'm taking os dot r m d i r what is the meaning of that r m remote directory can you please confirm can you please confirm which directory will be removed sir because of this one which directory will be removed removed anyone can you please confirm ah uh, is uh, data science followed by deep learning will be removed or only deep learning will be removed can you please confirm sir mkdir always talks about a particular directory sir make dir always talks about all the directories remember that sir lingam have you observed the difference here mkdir always talks about a particular directory a particular directory like but the mk make dir yes all the directories is going to talk same way rm dir can you please remove sir only one directory which one sir which is the top most are you getting which is the top most okay like this right only deep learning will be removed sir can you please cross check can you please cross check here only deep deep learning will be removed if you want observe that sir so i created task completed let me go for data science let me go for data science inside the data science deep learning no more earlier deep learning is there inside data science dir deep learning is there but the deep learning is no more that's all sir sir now my requirement is hey don't remove only deep learning complete path complete path cascading is nothing but complete path complete path is my requirement are you getting complete path is my requirement okay what is the way what is the what is the way sir okay now with your knowledge you can able to guess sir sir now this is what i created multiple directories right all these directories i want to remove sir i want to remove all these directories can you please sir, confirm anyone sir anyone instead of make a dir yes sir remove remove dirs not r m remove have you observed m k and the make difference is there r m and the remove dirs are you getting remove remove dirs okay to remove all the directories right python won't be there advanced python won't be there and the file i won't be there sir okay remove r dirs okay now have a look once sir sir what is the command is remove remove dir yes python advanced python file i o like this right okay now observe a bit carefully sir task completed task completed here now inside the durga classes earlier python directory is there now python is not there automatically advanced python also won't be there and then next level is also not available clear right all the people will be in the position to understand right okay but nothing will be there just seems to be some unix commands or windows commands like that next uh, to rename a directory i want i want to rename a directory sir what is the way okay what is the way sir next uh, to rename a directory okay to rename to rename a directory directory what is the way sir can you please confirm ah uh, can you please confirm what 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 that rename sir what is the how you can guess the method name we can guess the function name os dot os dot ah uh, anyone anyone can you please rename is the different move is the different lingam move means uh, just uh, move from one location to another location but uh, rename is the different existing thing existing thing we have to change the name so very simple os dot rename os dot rename data science is there i want to rename this one as yeah, data science okay with the complete data science are getting complete data science like this i am taking sir complete data science rename is the function okay now what is the way 
what is the base? Yes, okay, OS rename data science should be replaced with the complete data science. Okay, like now have a look once a just uh, let me execute this code. Are you getting file not found here? The system can't find the path specified. Okay, maybe data science is not there in my system. Data science DIR is there. Are you getting data science DIR is there, sir? Okay, now, now let me cross check here. Task completed. Now, data science DIR will be replaced with the renamed with the what is the name? Can you please spell out what is the name? Complete data science will be renamed with the complete data science. That's what you people should aware. Everyone, can you please confirm? What is the rename? Rename your directory. It's a piece like this, right? Okay, well. Sir, what is the next one? What about the next one, sir? To know, to know contents of a directory. Pass in this directory. In this directory, which things are available? Which files are available? Which which files are available? Or which which files or which subdirectories are available? Okay, to know to know contents, to know contents of directory. Are you getting to know contents of directory? What is the method we have? Sir, OS module contain one method. Can you please list this directory? List this directory. To list out contents of specified directory, sir. Here it won't display contents. Uh, it won't, it won't, sir. In this, in this DIR, in this DIR, which files are available, which directories are available, like that it is going to tell. But it never going to talk about subdirectory files. Remember this one, sir. It never going to talk about subdirectory files. Observe very carefully, sir. Now have a look once, sir. Here import OS, import OS. I, I, I forgot, I forgot the, the function name. Anyone can you please tell, sir? OS dot, uh, OS dot, list DIR, list DIR. Okay, now I'm asking about dot, dot. Anyone can you please guess what is the meaning of dot? What is the meaning of dot? That means what? Current work in directory. That means what? Current work in directory. Can you please print, this? Can you please print, print like this, right? In the current working directory, in the current working directory, do you know, sir, what are various? Huh, what are various files are available, subdirectories are available, directories are available up to that only it is going to tell. Now, here have a look once, sir. Sir, do you know complete data science is there? Files double line is there. Sir, inside files, uh, PyCache, PyCache is there, pack one cast, Durga is there. Inside Durga Sap, several things are there. It is never going to talk about internal things, sir. It will talk about only inside Durga classes, which directories, which files are there. Can you please have a look once? Have you observed right? Oh, this is the bigger thing, man. <laughs> this is the bigger, bigger thing what we have. So instead of that, I want to take a small example, sir. So you may get confusion. What I'm trying to take is that means current working directory. Hang on. Current working directory. Sir, I have one folder is there. What is this folder name? Can you please tell what is the folder name? Files. Ah, uh, what is the what is the folder name? Files 99. In this, uh, do you know in this files 99, F1, file 1, file 2, file 3 is there, sir. Assume, assume that. Sir, now this one I'm taking into, into complete data science. Sir, complete data science folder contain files 99. Inside files 99, file 1, file 2, file 3 is there, sir. If I can use, uh, just uh, if I can use, uh, sir, complete data science. Complete data science. Can you please tell in the complete data science, which things are there? Inside complete data science, which thing is there? Files 99 folder is there. Files 99 folder is there. In the files 99, some more are there. But uh, this uh, list DIR never talks about subdirectory contents. Remember this one. If I run this one, have a look once, uh, sir. Observe, it is going to provide only files 99 because this is the only thing available inside complete data science. 
but uh, but uh, in files are 99 sub sub directory contains are there sorry i can't touch it regarding sorry i can't touch it this uh, listed dir is always going to talk about in the specify directory which files are there which directories are there if any sub directory is there sorry man it's a internal contents i want to take care just the uh, you have to talk about in the current in this directly which which directories are there which files are there any doubt friends all the people are in a position to understand right complete data science okay in the which things are there now only one only one folder is there files 99 if nothing is there empty list we are going to get kushbo if nothing is there empty empty list we are going to get okay sir here observe carefully here we have only in this current data science only this one is there that's all within files 99 some more are there sorry sorry this function not having that capability okay like sir i want sir i want i want sub directory files also i want sub directory files also then we should go for okay to know contents of sub directory contents of directory including sub directory to know to know contents of directory including including sub directory including sub directory sub directory also including sub directory sir so very simple then we require to go for one special function anyone can you please guess what what may be the function name what may be may be special what what may be function name anyone can you please guess complete <laughs> okay <laughs> mkdir mkdir yes like <laughs> okay well having good guess now can swaru can you please tell what is the what is the uh, method anyone having the guess okay sir now my requirement here complete including sub directories also i want to walk and i want to know which files are there which directories are there i want to walk and i want to know which files are there which files are there and which sub directories are there i want to i want to know everything sir then we have to go for okay walk walk is the function are you getting right walk walk itself is the function sir we have to use which function walk function can you please walk in the directory so that we can aware all contents of that directory like that right okay but anyway but but anyway there are multiple arguments are there there are multiple arguments are there for this walk for this walk very simple os dot walk sir os dot walk walk like this right sir now the first one path what is the path the path sir where where you want to you want to search in which path you want me to search next uh, top down top down is equal to true the meaning that it's already there directory path sir directory path here top down is equal to true means sir uh, traveling from top to bottom or bottom to top like uh, top down is equal to true is equal to true sir next uh, third one on on error on error if if error detected then which function has to execute if error detected which function has to execute so don't execute anything anything sir none none like this right next uh, follow links follow follow links links like uh, if if to visit directories pointed by symbolic links have you remember that symbolic links uh, next uh, hidden directory something like uh, there is some in the operating system related terminology sir okay if any directory is pointed by symbolic links symbolic links uh, then can you please visit those also just uh, simply ignore don't worry sir we are not uh, uh, sir, performing any uh, you know we are not going to write uh, 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 what what os based uh, application don't worry sir here follow links means uh, if any symbolic links are there it is the operating system related terminology sir if any symbolic links are there uh, then the corresponding directory is also can you please visit something like okay symbolic links uh, maybe at the os level 
maybe maybe some uh, some directories can be pointed by symbolic links like uh, if any links are there which are point into some other location even those things also i have to visit there so you have to you you have to do that okay so we are not required to worry just in my current working directory you are not required to go for some other locations and so on that's why i'm taking false like this right sir if you want to use OS dot work work sir these many things are there sir but anyway most of the times we are going with the default values don't worry about that we are we are going to use the default values OS dot work path that's all OS dot work path that's it sir now now okay sir here just I'm I'm taking the possible values right okay like now my requirement is observe very carefully sir observe a bit very carefully sir now in the current working directory in the current working directory e colon d colon durga classes is my current working directory in the current working directory so all files and subdirectories can be please list out this is my requirement right sir observe very carefully sir what is the function name i have to take os dot os dot work os dot work dot current working directory here do you know for for dir path for dir path directory path dir names dir names next file names file names in 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 os dot work sir means what is current directory path sir what path you are you are trying to work in that path what directory names are there what file names are there what the directory names are there what file names are there sir okay colon colon sir now print of current current directory path current directory path current directory path okay dir path current directory path dir path next in that path which directories are available in that path which directories are available okay dir names dir names which directories are there sir next which files are available which files which files are available okay file names like this right which files are available here have you observed these variable names are very important sir you can use xyz also but meaningful so directory path directory names and the file names in os dot work current working directory next and after that some directories and then files like this right now have a look once about this one sir very very important observe that carefully sir here here like this i am executing okay well now just uh, can you please go to the top most location right current uh, working directory current working directory current directory path is the dot in d colon durga classes which directories are there okay in d colon durga classes these are the directories what we have remember this one sir these are directories are there next uh, which files are available one minute sir one minute okay let me take a print print some spaces so that more readability you will get them okay now print print like this i'm taking sir here observe that observe carefully yeah good now have a look once sir clearly you can able to get yes here observe oh <laughs> my console cache got completed uh, at least this total thing is related to current working directory files sir now once current working directory completed in the file test cache is there in that which directories are there v is only one directory sir and the files nothing will be there okay files empty empty files are available okay like this right empty files are there next uh, current working directory path okay file test in the current working directory file test cache is there in that v folder is there in the v folder which things are available which things are available okay directory cache is there now observe that first it tested in the current working directory 
and the, then it is looking inside the current working directory pi test cache is there in the which directories are there which files are there next in the current working directory pi test cache pi test cache so now v v directory is there now it is looking for v directory in the cache folder is there okay now files are nothing will be there now in the current working directory pi test cache v cache in the in the which files are available directory is nothing last modified node the ids are there like now can you please observe that can you please have a look once Here just uh, observe carefully. Pi test cache. Are you seeing anywhere right? Yes, pi cache or pi test cache like uh, maybe. Uh, are you seeing anywhere pi test cache? Yes, here have you observed pi test cache. Pi test cache. In that V directory is there. In that cache directory is there. In that last modify, node ideas is there. Are you getting the point right? Last modified node ideas is there. Sir, so now after completing the next in the current working directory, it is looking for assets. It is looking for assets. Assets, right? In the assets uh, node directory, next style or CSS file is there. Now let me cross check assets. Are you getting? Let me cross check assets. Only style or CSS is there. Okay. Next, uh, next it is looking for in the current work in directory com in the com which sub directories are there sir durga python durga soft pi cache now it is going to com durga python once uh, inside com durga python next com durga soft like so means that it is always going to search including sub directory files also any doubt can you please observe yes friends what is the current working directory path in which directory we are looking in which directory we are looking directory path Swaroop, what is the meaning of directory path here observe that sir this is so currently i'm working in inside current working directory com folder is there in that durga sap folder so in this directory i'm trying to perform sir list out here ocj subdirectory is there and the empty files only subdirectory is there something like okay now here observe that observe a bit very very carefully sir what i'm trying to take here is inside inside durga classes there is a one one folder is there sir pack 2 pack 2 is there inside pack 2 one minute ah, complete uh, data science is there complete data science is there now observe that here one more folder let me create sir so files uh, double seven double seven like now take very special case sir. very very special case can you please tell in complete data science uh, folder how many subdirectories are there two subdirectories right files 77 and files 99 files 99 contain three files uh, but files 77 doesn't contain anything doesn't contain anything sir now have a look once instead of that i'm taking the complete data science complete data science like this i'm taking sir complete data science now observe the answer observe the answer you people can feel more comfortable observe carefully sir now sir first first i'm searching in the complete data science folder now swaru you can observe currently i'm looking inside complete data science folder in that how many directories are there these two directories are available how many files are there nothing empty sir okay fair. next uh, sub directories also i want to work that's why next uh, first sub directory files double seven now complete data science files double seven is there in that which directories are there nothing which files are there nothing empty empty directory right next uh, after completing files double seven i have to go for files double nine complete data science files double nine 
director is nothing will be there but how many files are available sir files 1 files 2 files 3 like this yes all the people are in a position to understand right including sub directories also i want to list out what is the way then we require to go for walk is the function clear right swarup okay well that's all sir this is the way how to display how to how to display contents of your particular directory ah uh, okay like like this is how, how you can able to display contents of your particular directory including sub directories also i mean like this right so don't feel it is always in the current working directory somewhere i'm taking suppose if i can consider if i can consider e drive in the e drive sir python materials is there sir assume that e drive python materials is there now let me take this location sir e drive python python materials i have one folder is there sir now here e drive python materials in this folder in this folder can you please uh, can you please talk about okay like now observe what will happen have you observed right now i have a look once in the e drive python materials okay which directories are there only one directory is available which files are there oh these many these many files are available right are you getting these many these many files files are available okay like this right next uh, in the python loops is there one folder python loops uh, Directory is right, empty, no directory, but which files are available, sir? That's all, these are the files there. Okay, even if you want, you can specify your own location also acceptable. Clear, friends? All the people are in a position to understand, okay, what it means. Okay, now just the uh, let me summarize up to this whatever we covered sir okay can you please spell out what is the first first i covered just have a look once sir matter of two minutes sir to know current working directory to know current working directory sir what is the way please guide ah uh, please guide oh yes dot get the current working directory this is the way sir what is the second one to create a directory to create a directory, a directory, right? Sir, what is the command we use? OS dot mkdir, okay? Of, sir, your directory name, you have to specify, okay? Like this, right? Sir, next one, to create a subdirectory. Inside a directory, to create subdirectory. To create a subdirectory, subdirectory, present inside a directory. Present inside a directory, directory, like yes how you can able to do that how you can you can able to do that sir oh yes sir dot m k d i r m k d i r r sir this is my main directory parent p d i r parent directory in the child d i r like this i'm taking sir that's all same method only no difference at all next uh, here compulsory this parent directory should be already available if the parent directory not already available, then immediately we are going to get file not found error. Okay, compulsory should be there, sir. So now to create multiple multiple directories, including parent and child directories, both I want to create, sir. To create to create both the parent and the child directories, parent and the child child directories directories, right? Sir, what is the way? What is the way, sir? Sir, very simple. Oh yes, that yes i forgot the name can you i forgot the function name can you please guide oh yes dot make d i r s oh yes dot make d i r s parent ch parent d i r next uh, child d i r child d i r in that uh, child child d i r like you have to take sir in this case how many folders will be created can you please confirm how many how many folders will be created sir in this case all the three first pdir will be created in that cdir will be created in that ccdir will be created right okay that's all next uh, 
to remove a directory to remove a directory a directory right so to remove a directory what is the code we have to take very simple os dot os dot r m p i r remove directory okay like uh, which directory you want to remove sir sir assume that the space void directory will be removed sir if you want to remove if you want to remove sub directory it is also possible it is also possible pdir followed by cdir sir can you please confirm in this case which directory will be removed which directory will be removed sir in this case only cdir will be removed sir i want to remove parent and child directories also then automatically to remove to remove both the parent and the child directories also directories also what is the way sir i forgot the method name please guide remove d i r s are you getting remove d i r s remove directories multiple right plural remove directories sir pdir followed by cdir like this we have to take all sub directories all parent both parent and child directories by default will be removed sir okay right next uh, to rename a directory to rename rename a directory sir what is the way sir to rename a directory sir very very simple os dot rename the name itself indicates sir sir this is the old name sir comma new name okay old name of the old directory name old dir name replaced with the new dir name are you getting right new dir name that's all this is the seventh can i go to the eighth one sir next to know the contents of your directory to know contents of your directory to know the contents of your directory very simple sir os dot list dir of dir name you have to specify what is the problem with this one what is the problem problem with this one sir to know contents of a directory what is the problem it will it will talk only direct directories but not the sub directory contents are you getting right it is not going to list down the files present inside sub directory if you want to know if you want to, to know contents of directory including sub directories to know contents uh, contents of a directory of a directory including sub directory including sub directory sub directory like uh, then we have to go for what is the what is the function sir oh yes dot uh, what is the function right now you have to specify dir name yeah how beautiful these uh, functions right any doubt clear right that's all this is one thing what what you people should aware very very clearly right okay now the next one what i have to discuss now the next next terminology what i have to discuss right sir what are how we can run other programs from python program how to run how to run other programs other programs from python program from python program okay how to how to run other programs from python program program sir very very simple what we can what we can do is os module contain system function what is that function name sir system system function os module contain system function okay system system itself is the function name sir to run programs and the commands sir sir now in c language some people may be aware system commands sir okay in c language c language system function is there same function even in python is also available what it means right how you can you can able to do that 
sir very very simple sir if i can use sir i want to list out all python files present in sir current working directory can you please tell what is the command sir dir star dot py are you what is what is the meaning of that is all python files present in sir current working directory it is going to list out yeah how many how many files are available sir almost around 72 files are there sir it's going to list out all all files all python files present inside current working directory okay sir so now the same thing i want to do programmatically the same thing i want to do programmatically what is the way sir very simple here import the os 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 contain system function ah which command you want to execute just a spell out can you please tell what is the command i executed what is the command i executed sir yes whatever the thing you can execute from the command prompt all those commands you can just specify that's all that's all sir all these things you can you can specify no problem at all now here observe that sir now cls i'm trying to execute which program please confirm i'm trying to execute which program sir py test dot py py test dot py yeah sir test dot py executing test dot py executing and and it it list out all python files all python files present in current working directory present in current working directory okay well observe that observe that now have a look once yes friends sir now i executed i executed sir like that. sir test.py executing and it's list out all python files present in current working directory okay like this right it is going to tell the colon durga classes yes which files are there like uh, all the same cinema is going to come friends are you in the position to understand right yo no response okay well sir you know i want to i want to open notepad i want to open notepad automatically notepad get open open correct right i want to open the notepad notepad automatically it's, it's open sir now from the program from the program i want to do this activity sir okay i want to, i want to do this activity sir now have a look once sir sir just uh, whatever command you are taking from the command prompt you can take the same thing system notepad notepad observe <laughs> automatically notepad got open if you execute automatically notepad by default is going to be open are you getting how beautiful it is any doubt getting right now from python program i can execute another python program okay assume that assume that there is one another python program i'm taking sir named with the demo.py okay there is another python program is there Name it with the demo demo dot py demo dot py okay right like sir this demo dot py okay it is taking sir print print demo dot py executing demo dot py executing like this now observe if if I want to if I if I want to do if I want to if I want to execute this one so usually we are using which command if i want to execute this one from the command prompt which command py demo dot py i have to execute but uh, i don't want to do this activity sir i don't want to do here let me let me inside the test dot py okay here just i'm taking like this py demo dot py are you getting py demo dot py now whenever we are executing test dot py automatically demo dot py is going to be executed now we have a look once. I'm trying to execute test.py. Yes, test.py executing, demo.py executing, and then hello, hello, like uh, 10 times it's going to execute. Yes, I hope, uh, Kumar, we can execute, we can we can open calculator also. How to open calculator? Anyone having the idea? Uh, Calci. Are you getting that? Automatically Calci got open. Calci, Calci got open, sir. Calci got open. Then have a look once, sir. Here, Calci. Calci, like I'm taking, sir. Now, <coughs> observe carefully. PY, like this. Yes, 
it is calcium that open need not be this one sir even java programs also if you want you can execute sir this is the class test this is the class test this response from java program this is the response from java program java program like this i am taking sir now let me save this code yeah test.java test.java like this right now what i want to take yes sir i am trying to execute this program uh, here first command compile java c test.java compilation under then execution java java test execution means that this is so for the java program first we require to compile and then we require to execute we have to compile and then we have to execute now observe test up by executing so compilation is going to be happen and once compilation is going to be happen and then execution will be there this is the response from java program any doubt everyone in the position to understand clearly right so from the python program how you can run other programs how you can how you can run other other programs like uh, you should have clear idea right now i want to do uh, yes farooq you may execute what will happen try <laughs> try that <laughs> okay now sir i want to do after executing can you please clear screen can you please clear screen what is the command we require to use cls cls can you please clear screen executing executing and then clear screen executing and then clear screen okay like yes that's what you should aware sir okay so these are things sir, what you people should aware related to okay this uh, uh, file io how to work with the directories how you can execute how you can execute like this right yes for obviously it won't stop because the reason is test.py starting again test.py again test.py it is the problem right uh, kumar whatever commands you are executing from the command prompt you you can you can able to do that but from here select a star from select a star from employee it won't work you know right already the reason it is the normal command prompt it is not sql plus command prompt so you have to open sql plus command prompt provide username and password and then sir open now it is going to provide it's going to bring sql commands also you can execute don't worry maybe maybe chance is there you can check okay that's all friends so this is about sir how you can work with the directories in the python by using os module which functions are there like a better to have clear clarity about the, these things right